Hello world, welcome back to my channel. Today we're setting up my bullet journal for April. I've been inspired by this washi tape that I just picked up from Etsy. I'll leave a link below. I'm going to be using these fine tech metallic paints. I've not used them before so we'll see how that goes as well. In addition to these I just have a selection of soft bristle brushes most of them are pretty cheap apart from my yellow one that was bought separately from the art store these are going to be good for the water based gouache paints that I'm going to be using these are from Reeves I just have a selection of sort of peachy yellowy and a little pop of pink and crimson tones I've also picked up a light teal and blue ready for some accent colours so Let's get into it. So I'm working on watercolour paper here. Um, I'm going to be applying a light wash with a fair amount of water of all these colours. Just really randomly placing them down. So once I'd finished placing one layer down, I'm now working building up that texture with a thicker layer of paint, bringing in some of those blue tones and adding more detail as I go. I find gouache paints are really easy to work with, they're very similar to watercolour paints, how you can thin them out, um, but they don't dry as quickly as acrylics would, and they're also less likely to bleed and run like watercolours do. I think they're a great alternative and they're also really good at painting over pretty much any background. So now I'm taking my Uniball Posca white paint pen, I'm just uh, experimenting on the side here just to see what my plans are. 
I'm going to be adding sort of dashes, circles and dots all over this piece of artwork just to create a little more detail that's going to give it a little variation and then I'll be going over this again with the same sort of markings with the fine tech gold paint. So here I am using the Fine Tech Gold and um, I found with this paint you do need to add water and let it soak for a good few minutes to sort of saturate the pan. Um, it's literally like t it turns into a gold paint, There's, um, it's quite, it's water based and it runs very fluidly almost like acrylic and it has a gave an incredible shine and detail to this work. So I actually was painting two at the same time just to see which one I'd prefer. Um, so I've chosen this one. I was going to scan them in and add details using Procreate. I was having problems with my scanner. So I've just taken my Sigma fine, ball, fine brush pen to add the title, pe title for the month. And I'm also going to be adding a little sort of monthly calendar, month view, so I can see obviously the days in advance. I'm just attaching this with a Pritt stick. Uh, I may look at something in the future to stick these down a little bit more securely. As you can see, I'm about to refer back to the beginning of my planner where I'd already written out a yearly overview at a glance so I can set that up. I am currently looking for a, fi a fine liner sort of pen, usually in a 0.8 Once these were secure I then photocopied the other sheet and also chopped up the brown paper I was working on I'm going to be using these scraps to decorate the rest of the pages for this month. Uh, I love to use brown craft paper, I just think it gives such a tactile and organic texture to the sketch my journals. Here I'm using that new washi tape that I think works perfectly with the title page. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for where I got that from. The, I also liked how I, the colours that I'd been painting with were obviously picked up on the brown paper, so it's not just plain old brown paper. So here I'm using my Tombow Fujinesco pen. It's a Japanese calligraphy pen that I got online. It works really well to do the hand lettering. I'm just adding in the days of the week. I used to do quite structured pages with boxes and squares, but now I tend to be a bit more relaxed and fluid, almost more like a journal than a diary. So I've added the pages to this one and I'm gonna be adding just a to-do list at the bottom to get all those odd, jump, odd jobs done over the next month.
I'm then continuing on with the next two pages, this time using some of the photocopied paper of my artwork. I'm not adding any text to these pages, I'm just going to add a little background for when I do want to fill them, as I'm not sure as to how I will fill them. I know I was supposed to be going sailing, so this was going to be more of a sort of record of the journey, but that's obviously not happening and hopefully will be in the future. I then selected a few of my Tombow brush pens, they're dual tipped markers so I've been using the, the finer point and the brush markers just to replicate those markings added in the paintings across the pages just to break up all the paper I've just added. I'll link the colours I've chosen in the bottom but I just picked ones that suited and matched the paintings rather well. I also picked up my a gold marker pen that I picked up from Paper Chase to add a little more extra detail just to bring that gold back in across all the pages. But that's it for this video so I hope you enjoyed and I'm just going to give you a little flick through. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see in the future with my stationery and calligraphy please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, and I would really appreciate it if you subscribed and check out a few of my other videos. Keep safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Bye.